Welcome back to Truth Be Known. So we're just going to have a little special today. Yes, my voice is coming back and it is strong and healthy and this is going to be awesome because it's strong and healthy and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so this is Thanksgiving this next week and you know, Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful for everything that God's given you. It's a time, you know, to remember the reason we even celebrate Thanksgiving. And I don't even know if, you know, the high school students or even the elementary students actually know what Thanksgiving is all about. I don't know. I mean, how far in history do they go back? But yeah, we still celebrate these holidays. So I'm hoping that they are still teaching this in school, right? And that they're teaching it correctly. But that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about Thanksgiving. <laughs> and how sometimes, you know, we take the holidays and we just love them. We can't wait to get together with our families and, you know, stay off our, get off our diets and eat yummy foods. But yet, we're just in a, a fizzy, I guess. I'd say I'm more not so thankful. There's so much that we have to do to get ready for Thanksgiving. And if we have guests in our home, we have to prepare for them and clean the house and cook the meals and do everything that we need to do, clean the sheets, you know, clean the towels. You know, we have to do everything that we need to do to prepare for them. And and then we eat the meal, which takes what? Probably five minutes. And then there's the mess of all the dishes that have to be done. And so our whole holiday is spent on working and working and doing and working. And yet we're supposed to be thankful yay we're thankful <laughs> yeah we're thankful when it's all over so we can sit back and take a nap but I want to challenge you this year I do want you to be thankful and I want you to think of all the things that are around you your friends your family you know even your animals your cat your dog the ones that gets on your nerves so often you know think of the good things that God's done for you and even when you think of the good things if you think of some bad things take those bad things and put them behind you and let's make this whole season of a better place for our minds to be because also the sadness and reality of the holidays is when people are depressed and they're down on themselves and they just feel like there's no hope but it's time for us to give hope to people and so let's help people let's go out of our way to to give them a nice word or smile at them or you know some people just need a word of encouragement and let's just do that this year and try to be more thankful that we can do this not just this Thanksgiving day but we can do it every day of our life because that's what we're here on earth for we're not just here to promote ourselves and me 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 it's all about me but truthfully it's not about you it's about other people and once we start um, focusing on other people's needs and helping their needs then we can be thankful we can be happy we can be joyful because we're not focusing on what moi wants all the time and what moi doesn't have or whatever but we're focusing on someone else and i have a little challenge i'm going to be doing for myself there's a facebook group and um this group will some people will just post, hey, is there anything that you need? And people will post things that they need. And I would love to start at the beginning 
and get every person what they're needing. Now, on that note, <laughs> there's a lot of people that need cars and there's a lot of things I can believe with them for other than buying them something. You know, we can't be stupid and just go spend all the money that we have on certain things. Now, there are people that have the certain um, financial credentials that are able to do that. And uh, <laughs> just don't go out and buy a bunch of cars for people and then get put in jail. No, but we need to be more serving other people rather than serving ourselves. And always stop focusing, putting the focus on you. Let's put it on someone else. Let's find out how someone else is doing. How is your day going? What did you do today? It's not about me and what I'm going to do and my family and blah, 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 blah. But I challenge you to serve others and be thankful. Just like I'm thankful for my cat and he's about to get spanked because he's in my door meowing for who knows what reason. That's what animals do, though. I love my animals. I'm thankful for my animals. So I challenge you to be, to be thankful. Serve other people. Go out of your way. If you want a cat, holler at me and I'll give you a free one. He's so cute, though. His name is Axel. If you say that really fast, he lives up to his name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm really not kidding. We have a dog also named Angel. And she lives up to her name. She is definitely an angel. So thank you for joining us today. I know what this is going to be. Just a short little challenge for you. And I wanted to tell you about some upcoming subjects we're going to be discussing. Well, there's been a lot of investigation going on. <laughs> and there's some things going to be coming out. And this is the reason that Satan's tried to stop this because... Uh, I'm going to share with you a, a few things that uh, just, you know, we're in this world that we deal with every day. And we just have to be cautious and careful. Most people are just unaware of the things that we'll be discussing. And so when you have awareness of what we talk about then you have responsibility to <laughs> take, you know, actions on what you feel is right that you need to do. And some of these things, it may not be of any interest to you, but there's just things we're just going to discuss and we're going to go with. And I think it's going to be beneficial to you. And I hope you tune in right here where the truth is known because this is truth be known.